This is Local 15 News. There it is, the heartbeat of Jag Nation. It is game day here in the Port City. One way to tell is the sellout crowd at Lad People Stadium. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Derek Rose. The big game for South Alabama is our big story today. In their home opener, the Jags are taking on the Bulldogs of Mississippi State in front of 40,000 fans, and that game is underway right now. So let's bring in local 15 sports anchor Paxson Boyd outside Lad People Stadium. Paxson, how are the Jags looking? How's it going, Derek? I'm live here at Lad People Stadium, of course, the site for arguably the biggest home opener in Alabama State, uh, South, South Alabama football history. Of course, the Jags, their first ever sellout. They're taking on the Mississippi State Bulldogs, the first time they've ever taken on an SEC opponent. And perhaps South Alabama came up just a little too jittery to start this one. Things got off to a shaky start for South. The Jags went three and out on their first possession after quarterback Brandon Bridge and receiver Claude Garrett couldn't hook up on a deep pass play that would have put them inside the MSU five-yard line. Now, the Jags continued to shoot themselves in the foot, missing a field goal and turning the ball over on a fumble. Now MSU would strike first. Quarterback Dak Prescott connects with Malcolm Johnson on the 15-yard strike. From there, the Jags would settle for a field goal in the second quarter as MSU would continue to find the end zone. The Bulldogs lead at the halftime, 28 to three. We're currently at the beginning of the third quarter. And Derek, of course, be sure to tune in to Local 15 tonight. We'll have all the highlights and reaction from players and coaches, and we'll also have highlights from Alabama's matchup against Southern Miss as well. All that and more coming up tonight at Local 15 at 10. All right, Reporting Paxton, from thank Lad you. We'll Stadium, see you Paxton Boyd, Local 15 Sports. Paxton, thank you. We'll see you a little bit later in sports.